2016 spring break. Woo! Spring break! In this episode, you're gonna find out how you can drink alcohol and party responsibly, of course, and still make lean muscle gains. You're gonna find out my top secret intra workout mass builder that can help you pack on an additional three to five pounds every single month. And you're gonna find out about a top secret anabolic window that is so powerful for your gains that I call it Ronnie Coleman's front door. Let's get started. So I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. These people across the street, the uh, construction workers, probably think I'm literally insane because they see some kid holding a bottle of Hennessy screaming on the top of his lungs spring break. But I wanted just to emphasize a little point, get you guys jacked about this video. So part one, I call it party gains. Now, back when I was in college, even still to this day, I still socialize and like to party occasionally. I was trying to lift heavy weight, I was trying to follow a good diet, and I just wasn't making gains. I wasn't increasing my strength and building muscle as fast as I would have hoped for someone that was right in the peak years of muscle building, right between the age of say like 20 and 25. So alcohol is by far the most catabolic muscle wasting thing that you could do. So I came up with this little blueprint. Obviously, I know you guys are watching this video if you're between the age of say 21, 25, probably even some guys under the age of 21. You know, you're young, you wanna socialize, you wanna drink alcohol, but at the same time, you wanna make gains in the gym. So instead of telling you guys to never drink alcohol at all, I wanna give you guys a powerful blueprint that's gonna allow you to consume alcohol and still make rapid lean muscle gains. So it's gonna be three parts. We're gonna talk about what you do about an hour before you consume alcohol, and then what you do throughout the night as you're drinking and partying responsibly, of course. And then after, what you're gonna to do to soak up all that alcohol and turn your body from a state of being catabolic back to an anabolic muscle building state as you enter your sleep cycle. So getting into part number one. Now this is so crucial. Please do not drink on an empty stomach. Being a naturally hard gainer and a skinny guy, you are obviously at a genetic disadvantage to get really big and pack on slabs of muscle mass efficiently. So the worst thing that you can do is just consume alcohol on a straight up empty stomach. What you wanna do is you wanna get in a good combination of slow digesting carbohydrates and high quality protein. And also, if you, can get in, if you can get in a carbohydrate source that has lots of potassium and electrolytes and minerals, they're gonna help hydrate you even better. So with that being said, my favorite combination is grass-fed beef. Sometimes I'll crack an egg or two over it for some added protein. And also sweet potatoes, and once in a while I'll throw in a banana. Now sweet potatoes and banana are really high in potassium. And as you drink alcohol, your body's gonna become more and more dehydrated. And being dehydrated is the worst state that your body can be in as you're trying to make lean muscle gains. So I would just fill up on about 40 to 50 grams of lean beef and have between 60 and 70 grams of carbohydrates from sweet potatoes and banana. Now step two, as you are parting responsibly, of course, I really think that drinking clean is gonna save you guys because you start partying and you're taking shots of like the sugary syrup and these cheap liquors, it is the worst thing in the world for your body. So my favorite go-to drink, if I'm still trying to you know, get a little buzz, party responsibly and not lose my gains, is always a vodka water with lime or a vodka soda. Now soda water, obviously water, it's hydrating. So even though you're drinking something that's dehydrating you, at the same time you're replenishing and you're hydrating. So that's why my go-to is always a vodka soda or a vodka water. And um, obviously, if you guys don't enjoy that, you could still do like a rum and Diet Coke with lime or things like that. Just try to really monitor your simple sugars and all that good stuff, because that's gonna be really deteriorating for your physique. And most importantly, step three, what you do after you get done parting responsibly is you wanna soak up all of that liquor and you wanna have a nice combination of fats and proteins and carbs and electrolytes. It's gonna further replenish our body. So here's my little realistic blueprint on what you could do. Step number one, and this is 
No fail. Anytime that you are out drinking, I guarantee you there's a pizza place that is open. So what I do is, just so I can continue the night, obviously, you know, you're out on a Friday or Saturday night. It's not realistic for you to go home and eat a grilled chicken breast and some broccoli and some brown rice like you're a robot. You're out socializing, you got a little buzz on on a Friday or Saturday night, so what you do is you have a slice of pizza. I always add in some high quality protein on top. So I'll get some chicken, maybe a Hawaiian pizza with some ham and pineapple, and I'll enjoy my pizza. So the pizza has some healthy fats, it's gonna soak up some of that liquor. It's got some protein from the cheese and then any type of meat that you add on top. Now, next up, when I get home, I will chug a big container, a 32 ounce Gatorade. Now Gatorade, the simple sugars and the sodium and the electrolytes and the magnesium in the Gatorade is awesome for preventing hangovers and getting your body back into an anabolic muscle building state. And then also when I get home, I will have some leftover protein from something that I cooked um, earlier in the day. So I'll have some grass fed beef, I'll have some eggs, I'll have some high quality chicken breast or turkey breast, but I'll make sure I consume another 30 to 40 grams of high quality protein. And then last but not least, this is my secret weapon. I will replenish my electrolytes. So I'll actually have some magnesium powder. They make this stuff called natural calm that is just pure magnesium powder. Now when you're drinking alcohol, you're actually getting, you're becoming dehydrated. You're losing your body's essential minerals and electrolytes that are so crucial for you to function and increase your strength and build lean muscle mass. So zinc and magnesium and potassium are the big ones. So that's why I chug the Gatorade and then I'll also have a drink with some natural calm. It's just pure magnesium powder, it tastes really good. I'll have some of that and I'll also take three to four ZMA pills, which is zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B. So that is the perfect combination and if you follow that three-part blueprint, I guarantee you, you guys can party responsibly, have a few drinks out on a Friday and Saturday night, and not lose your lean muscle gains. Part number two, a little hack that I've used over the years to pack on weight efficiently, is my intra workout mass builder. Now, this is really underrated because just consuming four to 500 super high quality bodybuilding calories throughout your workout, if you do the math, it takes a 3,500 calorie surplus to gain one pound. So if you're doing five workouts a week and you have a 500 calorie intra-workout shake, that's gonna be 2,500 extra calories every single week. That's 10,000 extra calories every single month that you are consuming. And on top of that, it is going to skyrocket your energy levels and your protein synthesis right in the middle of your workout. So instead of waiting until right after you work out to have your protein shake, I recommend you guys have an intra-workout mass builder that consists of some simple carbs, some high quality protein, and some creatine, which actually gets, deple which actually gets depleted as you guys are going through your intense workout. So what I do is I will take a, a 32 ounce bottle of Gatorade and I'll, um, I'll add in or I'll put it in a shaker cup or I'll have half the Gatorade bottle when I'm first starting and I'll add some water to it. I'll add a couple scoops of maltodextrin powder and then I will also add in and I'll shake up some vanilla protein powder in it. So my favorite combination is to use orange Gatorade and some vanilla protein. I'll add a little bit of maltodextrin. I'll add about five grams of micronized creatine and I have a four to 500 carbohydrate and protein filled mass building shake that I'll start drinking throughout my workout. So I'll start drinking it maybe after my first intense exercise and I'll continue sipping on it all the way through the end of my workout. And by the end of my workout, instead of drinking water which has zero calories, I'm drinking something that's rehydrating me, I'm giving my body all of the amino acids that it needs to build muscle, replenishing my muscle glycogen as I'm working out intensely and breaking it down, and also feeding my body with creatine which is gonna help me increase my strength throughout my workout. So that is the perfect intra-workout mass builder that can absolutely skyrocket your gain. So just to summarize, take between 15 and 20 ounces of orange Gatorade, take a big scoop of vanilla protein powder, add in some maltodextrin powder, add in about a teaspoon of micronized creatine, and you guys have my top secret intra-workout mass builder. So drink that every single time you hit the gym and go for an intense workout, and you guys are gonna see some awesome progress over the months and years. If the 60 minute window following your workout is the anabolic window, this is so important, I'm nicknaming it Ronnie Coleman's front door. Now, what I mean by this is the 60 minute period from the 60 minutes before you go to sleep. This is so important for your lean muscle gains as a naturally skinny guy. So you have to understand that being naturally skinny, you have to constantly drip feed your body with amino acids and high quality protein that's gonna repair those micro tears 
and you always want to be in an anabolic state and your body regenerates itself when you go to sleep when you enter your REM sleep cycle this is when your body secretes all these powerful hormones like testosterone and human growth hormones so what you do in the 60 minutes before you go to bed is so important for you recovering efficiently so what I recommend you do is you have a slow digesting, muscle building, protein omelet. So what I would do is I would take some leftover chicken breast or some leftover ground turkey. I would throw about 15 to 20 grams of that on the skillet and I would throw in some veggies, whatever I have laying around and I would crack four to five eggs over it. Now eggs are the perfect protein source for late at night because they contain cholesterol and your body actually needs cholesterol to build free testosterone and free testosterone is produced when you enter your REM sleep cycle. So it is so vital to get in some slow release, high quality protein right before you go to bed. The chicken also has really high quality protein and cholesterol. So it is the perfect thing to eat can, uh, right in the 60 minute window of before you go to sleep. Now, if you don't have any eggs lying around and you want the really quick version, you could also have some cottage cheese or some casein protein powder. These are both slow digesting forms of protein, but I always recommend you go with the whole food version if you have it available. Now, next up, I recommend you take three to four ZMA pills. When you're working out in the gym or you're drinking a lot of caffeine or you're just going through mental and physical exertion throughout the day, your body starts to lose magnesium. Now, magnesium is probably one of the most important minerals that I haven't really talked about in any videos and magnesium is so vital for building muscle and recovering and just feeling really strong and ready to go when you go in the gym the following day after a really intense workout. So taking some ZMA every single night, it's gonna give you some zinc, which is great for healthy testosterone levels. It is going to replenish your magnesium and the vitamin B6 forms an awesome synergistic combination that's gonna help you guys recover. So I'll have my slow digesting protein omelet. I'll have three to four ZMA pills and that is how you make some lean muscle gains in your sleep. So the compound effect of doing all these things, if you're a young guy and you're drinking a little bit of alcohol and you're going through really intense workouts, and you want to build muscle in your sleep just doing those three things in this video are going to give you incredible progress and gains after even just one to two months of this regimen so hope you guys enjoyed this video wanted to put together a really outside the box list of things that you could really implement into your life right away and i also want to be realistic about this stuff i want to start giving you guys awesome advice that's going to be realistic to your lifestyle now you guys aren't pro bodybuilders. You're not rigid little robots that just eat chicken and broccoli and do your exact workout regimen every single day of the week, 365 days of the year. So I wanna start giving you guys more advice that's going to help you with your exact situation and your lifestyle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're looking for more great tips on how to bulk up and gain lean muscle mass, head on over to weightgainmethod.com. See you there, guys. I wanna unveil a secret to you guys. You know, I just shared a little, a little secret of my life with you guys, my underground layer. And I wanna give you guys three mass building secrets.